we're going to have a look at a problem involving map ratios here. So we're told at the start of the question the ratio of a map is 1 to 300,000. That means that 1 centimetre on the map is 300,000 centimetres in real life. Now we don't tend to talk about large distances like 300,000 centimetres in centimetres. It just sounds silly and it's unmanageable. So the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else in this question is change that back into kilometres. So I need my metric conversions again. One kilometre is a thousand metres. And one metre is a hundred centimetres. Now we're going the other way this time. If I'm changing centimetres into metres, to get from a hundred to one, I have to divide by a hundred. And then to get from metres to kilometres, from a thousand to one, I have to divide by a thousand. So, 300,000 centimetres will be, well, if we're trying to get from centimetres to metres, we divide by 100. So we can effectively just knock two zeros off the end. 3,000 metres. That's already starting to sound much more sensible. And then if we go a stage further, 300, sorry, 3,000 metres, so from metres to kilometres divide by a thousand so that's three kilometres and that looks much nicer to work with now we can start to tackle the question so two places are 12 centimetres apart on the map so this is when I'd use this notation to help you remember which is which so on the map one centimetre is three kilometres we want to know how far 12 centimetres is on the map. Sorry, 12 centimetres on the map, what that is in real life. So we use the idea of proportion. So I know that if 1 centimetre is 3 kilometres, then 12 centimetres is going to be 12 lots of that. So from 1 to 12, I need to multiply by 12. So I need to do exactly the same to the other side. So 3 times 12 is 36. So I know that 12 centimetres is going to be 36 kilometres in real life. So we've done the first part. The answer to the first part is 36 kilometres. Now let's have a look at part 2. Two places are 80 kilometres apart in real life. So again, I'm going to set it up with my map to real. One centimetre is three kilometres, as we worked out the first bit. Now, I know that in real life they are 80 kilometres apart. I need to work out how far it is on the map. Now, in this bit of the question, the earlier part, it was easy to see that to get from 1 to 12, we times by 12. It's not as easy to see there what we have to times by, but we need to work it out. So we're saying that 3 times something that we don't know is 80. Now, the reverse of that calculation, and to work out what the unknown amount is, we just take 80 and divide it by 3. Now, 8 divided by 3 is 26.6666666, so 26.6 recurring. So I've got to take this number here, so 3 kilometres times 26.6 recurring, gives me 80. Now I need to do exactly the same to the other side. Times by 26.6 recurring. So that's going to give me, well, one lot of 26.6 recurring is going to be 26.6 recurring. Now, it's probably not very sensible to say you're measuring 26.66666 centimetres, so here it might be sensible to round. 
so to the nearest centimetre. That's 27 centimetres on the map. And that's the question done.